what's up guys for squad walks more minecraft survival in the last episode we went to the nether again and we were actually victorious this time because we got some nether rods or blaze rods and we got some nether rack or nether rack yeah we got another rack but we got nether warts <laughs> and in this episode we're gonna be starting the enchanting room and we're gonna start with brewing too so it's pretty cool. Um, between episodes, and had some more organization. I made an ingot slash important chest, which has, which has all the uh, important stuff in it, especially lapis and diamond. Uh, we have all the same stuff, I think. I put some more stuff around, if you want to pause the video and see that. Uh, just pretty much organized my house, thankfully. Finally. Took a while. And, um, do I have any... Did I just hear... We just heard a popping sound. Wait. Is there an egg? There is an egg. Okay. Alright, we'll go get it. Lag again. Eggy. Nope, no chicken. Another eggy. Nope, no chicken. <laughs> no go. Alright. So now that we've done that, let's get some more of these. Because we did that every episode. And why would we do different? Actually, did we get any glowstone from the nether? I don't think we did. That's sad. I might want to go back there, like, between episodes, just to get some... J just to get some, because I want to improve my farm. So, yeah. Anyway. Um. We're going to use this and the other sugar cane that I have in, in which chest? Where did I put all my sugar cane? Um, probably just missing it. Like, there it is. Why is it in the farming chest? It should be in the uh, enchantment and brewing chest. Okay, whatever. So we have some sugar cane, and we're gonna make some paper. There we go. Wow, that's a lot of paper. And some books, and some more books, and even more books. If you make one more. There we go, 22 books. And then, um, I actually need some wood. We need a lot of wood, so let's go to our wood chest. And we don't have much wood left, because we made a whole bunch of... I have two extra chests I probably shouldn't have made. But, uh, anyway. Probably should have... Hold the shift there, don't know why I didn't. But, uh, let's just make some more bookcases. Can't have very many, but since one thing I should probably yeah, I don't have enough. One thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull out of the wood cobble chest my stone axe and out of the farming chest uh my saplings, bone meal, some bones, and yep. So we're gonna get some more trees. Actually I should, probably should have made a new axe, but whatever. Do we have... these trees aren't fully... I don't have anything to build with. Alright, I'll pull this tree down. Since I probably just planted this one not long, that, that long ago. Getting wood! New achievement. And then we'll just plant a new sapling there. We're gonna be... we're gonna be eco-friendly. For every tree we cut down, we're gonna put in a new sapling. Since that's the way it works here. On my survival let's play. That's a weird tree. They're all just normal trees here, and there goes my axe. Doesn't mean I can't cut it down with my fists. I mean, we could we could act like it's episode one again, because why not? I never make any axes. Like, I know a lot of people like, or well, I guess it really wouldn't be OCD, but um, some people. Oh, there's a sapling. Uh, like to make, like, f when they first get wood, they like to make tools out of, like, every tool. And I don't really like to do that. I mean, I don't really see a reason for a shovel or an axe. I mean, cutting down trees and cutting dirt faster, but... Cutting dirt faster? Digging dirt faster? It's a shovel, not an axe. Jeez, okay. So we'll just make, um... I get to pull stuff out of... Oh, I thought that was my wood... It's the same chest. What am I doing? Okay. 
Let's make a new axe. Not the bones. There we go. New axe. So, let's get out of here. I, I keep hearing spiders. I don't know where this place is. Oh, there's a sapling up there on top of... Oh, there's another one. Wow, there's a lot of saplings. Uh, that one's going down fast. So, yeah. Um... I don't know what's been going on lately. I just recorded, uh, this is the same recording session right after the last episode. I'm actually getting back into recording these. Since I finally completed getting nether stuff, I'm actually kind of motivated to do this again. Especially since, uh, Kirby's Turn the Dreamland is now over, and I'm not going to be putting in, up any more, um, I'm not going to put up my next Let's Play until Pokemon White is done, since that's taken a while to do. I've actually finished recording that, so that'll be up, uh, ASAP. Wow, that's a lot of saplings, jeez. I swear that one just wasn't there a second ago. Uh, okay, we'll wait for the one to fall down. I guess we just cut that one or something. What's with all the lag today? Jeez, not even generating anything. It's just my bad computer being bad. All right, Let's get this tree too, and I guess we'll be good for wood. Good for wood, huh? huh get it? Yeah, that kind of rhymes. And I haven't been putting saplings down. I'm not very eco-friendly. Jeez. Let's put some saplings down. I mean, come on, man. Wow, that's a lot. More saplings over here. <gasps> an apple. Yes. Apple's actually pretty rare. I didn't even see an apple tree around here. I guess... These have always seemed like jungle trees, even though they they're not. There's normal trees, but they have, you know, the 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 vines on them, so it makes them seem like jungle trees. But this is not a jungle. This is a forest biome. So, and you know, this is the place we originally started in. Which hopefully soon I'm I want to kind of make a a house far away, to, just so we can explore more terrain and hopefully get a jungle or something. But, uh, for now, we're just gonna stay here and get a whole bunch of lag. Okay, there. That usually fixes it. Uh, so we have more books. And we'll put, like, half this wood in there, since that'll give us a lot of wood. More than we need. For 13 books. See? Now we have more wood than books. It's crazy. We didn't, we didn't really need that much. Like, really. So we have one book left. Uh, the book goes in the enchantment stuff. And, uh, that's wood. And apple goes in food. And this goes in there, too. And the bookshelves, which, wow, we only have that many bookshelves? Do we hit? I guess we don't have any sugar cane left. Wow. We're actually, we actually need a lot more sugar cane than I thought. I only have 14 books. Thankfully, that'll almost be enough in the new version if we're still doing this by the time that comes out, which well, is very likely to happen. Uh, so, yeah, we'll just pull out. We don't have a pickaxe anymore. Are you serious? Are you just letting useless crap? No. I actually did call it useless crap. <laughs> so, we don't have that cobblestone anymore. Actually, we do. We have it right here. Jeez. We don't have any sticks, because I didn't pull any out, and apparently we don't have any more anymore. We just have to use that, because it's not that hard to do. We just do that pretty easily. We are almost, we are like out of iron. We do not have like any iron. The only iron we have is the sword and my armor, which is running low. So, yeah, we're going to need to go caving soon, <laughs> since... When we fell down in the lava, that that was pretty much all the iron we had on us. So, yep. So, right behind the house, actually, the reason I made a pickaxe is so I can take the enchantment table. I'm hoping it'll still give me it. Yes, okay, good. I thought you needed, like, an iron pickaxe for it. Okay. That's good, though. I like that. Alright. Uh, do we have enough space? Whoa! Oh my gosh, what happened to my camera? freak out. Jeez. Okay. Alright, so let's just 
put it in that kind of shape. And geez, slag, man. Oh, well, I have four? I don't remember putting down a fourth. Oh, and that gives us books, of course. Alright. So that's all we're going to have an enchantment table right there. So that's all we have for now. Once we get more sugar cane, uh, we're going to be able to make more. And then we'll be able to expand upon our enchanting thing. So yeah. Now I want to make an item that we've never made before because we needed something for the nether to get it, which was the blaze rods. So let's put cobblestone down the bottom. Blaze rod on the top, and it gives us a brewing stand. So I guess the brewing stand can be in our house since it doesn't really need anything around it. It's just a brewing stand. Pretty cool. Uh, do we have any glass? Because we're gonna need glass. Good if we do. All right. Uh, so how do I make this? Is it like? No, it's not like that, is it? No. There, uh, glass panes. Do we need, I guess we do need panes. Holy crap, it gives you a lot of panes. Wow, okay. And then, in that shape. It's not? Wait. Are you kidding me? I just wasted that much. Mm. Well, I'm pretty sure we can't put them back, can we? No. Can we put glass panes back into glass? Hold on for a second, I'm gonna look this up. Oh, let's see, what is it? I'm gonna look it up on the wiki. Um, glass panes. Uh, doesn't look like it. Ah, man, of course. Let me look at the glass page, though. Yeah, it doesn't look like... I swear you could put them back into glass before. Guess not. Alright, so we have some. So what you want to do is you want to fill these up, which I'm going to go to bed. So, I should probably... See, nighttime should be, like, a thing to tell me, here, it's time to end the episode, but whatever. Uh, we'll get some food, since I can barely sprint. Actually, we're full on hearts, but whatever. What we need to do is we need to take these bottles, and we're not going to do it here. Wait. Oh, these are infinite water pools. I can just use it on here. Don't want to go all the way down. So just fill up each bottle. And they don't stack anymore. They just fill up three inventory spots. Back into the house. And then we can put the water bottles on each of these stands. Now, the main thing, the main ingredient is nether warts. So that's a good thing that we got nether warts. We just put another one nether wart and it will fill all three bottles with nether warts. Now, the main ingredients for um, the brewing uh, after the nether wart, I believe, is uh, gas tears, fragmented spider eyes, regular spider eyes, uh, what else? Um, Clustering melons. There's there's another thing. I forget what it is though. Parkouring chests, yes. But um those are the main things. I, I can think of what it is, but I don't know what the name of it is. But um that will make an awkward potion. So then we can put whatever we want in it. Um I put gunpowder in here and actually actually I should put some uh some redstone in there too. Because they're both ingredients. Um redstone will actually I don't know if it's like there's um two ingredients that improve either the duration or um like level one or level two or whatever. Um redstone does one of them, glowstone does the other, I'm not exactly sure what it is. But gunpowder actually makes it so it can be thrown, so if you make a potion of poison and throw it at um at mobs, it will poison them. And actually a fun fact, uh hostile mobs, if you throw a uh, healing potion at them, they actually get damaged. So that's pretty nice. But um but yeah, we don't have many of those ingredients. Uh, we don't have... Actually, we do have, in our... This chest, we do have the spider eyes. So... I'll actually take some of these spider eyes and put it on here. 
so that will just fill up. And between episodes, I'm actually gonna see um like how you get the other ingredients, like how you get uh like the glistering melons, how you get um uh fragmented spider eyes and stuff like that. And there's also like another ingredient. It's, it might be sugar. Sugar does something too. I think. I think sugar is actually a main ingredient. I think. But um, here let's make three potions of poison. If we want, we can take some redstone, and we can add that to it. And we can also, before I forget, add some gunpowder to it too. So if you put all three on, it only takes one. So just put a piece of redstone in there. And as you can see, it's a regular potion of poison, 45 seconds right now. And I'm not exactly sure whether, uh, whether which one this actually does, but we'll see in a second. Let's just look at one of them. That'll show us. Okay, that actually improves the duration, so now it's 2 minutes instead of 45 seconds. And then we can add some gunpowder to it, which it can now be thrown. So if we're in a sticky situation with the mob, we can just throw it at them, and they will get damaged. Or we can throw it at ourselves if we want to. You know, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> so, yep. Here we go, we're gonna get splash potions of, splash potions of poison. One minute, oh, that actually takes down the duration when you add gunpowder to it, okay. But we'll add, we'll put back the redstone, the spider eyes, that other wart. And we'll put the potions back. And these two. So yeah, um, guess if there's any mobs out there. Which I don't see any since it's, it's just been nighttime. Uh, I do hear spiders. No idea where it is. Still have to figure out what that is. But, um, we can actually just throw it at them, and then we'll get damaged. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So, um, I guess I'm gonna end the episode off here. So, next on Minecraft Survival, I guess we're gonna go caving again, since we're pretty much out of iron. Maybe try to get some more sugar cane so we can improve our enchanting farm, and then we'll enchant later. Alright, so, see you guys then.